Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh, and it's time for us to get into the news business with News Tycoon. We're gonna try and build the world's worst newspaper, so let's get right into it. New game. See, this is what I want from a game. The part where you can name your own company. We make shit up. Perfect. There's 199 logos to choose from. Let's go ahead and use that thing that's either a radio or a TV. And now to make the most disinterested head of the company ever, let's see. I sort of want to go with this dude because he looks kind of scary and I feel like that could be intimidating for people. But we're going to go with this guy because I mean, just look at this. No one can respect this guy. Duke Singleton. Okay, now these first categories, I guess, celebrities, culture, economics, obviously that means that that's the kind of topics they excel in. Down below though, like writer, photographer, proofreader, and then just general speed? What does any of this matter if they're the head of the company? Shouldn't they not be writing? We're gonna give him all points into speed. I don't feel like it matters if you're accurate or good if you're fast. Oh my god, this is a lot of text. Hi, I'm Harry Smith from City Hall. We noticed that you started a new newspaper company recently and we want to help you. Why? Write one article about politics for us and publish it. Don't forget to write something positive about our mayor here. Uh, sure, I don't care if that's corrupt. Okay, where are we? Where's our newspaper? There it is. <laughs> there's Duke Singleton in his infinite sadness, sitting in his jail cell. God, there's so many menus here. Duke Singleton is inactive. <laughs> yeah, we know. Oh, you mean with doing stuff here. Okay, well, let's give him something to do here. If I just click his name, choose an article. Boy, howdy, is this a lot of stuff. We said we're going to write something on politics, so let's go ahead and find that. I am actually seeing nothing to do with politics here. So we're just going to start doing yellow press, which I believe is just totally made up stuff, which fits our newspaper just fine. So the population of bedbugs has left Earth following dolphins. Perfect. Duke Singleton, get to work. We have all these icons down here. This is pretty damn complex. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. We can design our newspaper a little bit. We get to define how much we charge for our newspaper. How high can this go? 10.50 a newspaper, huh? And we're gonna release one every single day. We are now a daily newspaper for $10. What is probably the classiest? We're gonna go with this one because it looks kind of like Comic Sans. I'm glad we can assign the font of the article even though we can't see that. Overall quality Quality. We're gonna go with the cheapest. Okay, perfect. How's the article writing going, buddy? Wow, it's taking you a while. Oh, cool. We can remove the wall. I like that his place doesn't even have doors. I'm surprised this place has electricity at all. And then there's this interrogation room over here. Good God, let's speed this up. There we go. He just works day and night. Good Lord. Okay, so I had him proofread. Now it's time to publish the article. Okay, here's our beautiful newspaper. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to 1050. We're gonna show the release date in the way that you expect it. You know when you buy a newspaper and you expect it to say five day, one month, 2016 year. Okay, so we're gonna add this into... There we go. <laughs> okay, check it out. Here's our first newspaper. One page, solid block of text. All right, seems good. Publish it. Oh, hell yeah, we got a sale. Okay, look at that. We've made one sale. We made 10 bucks. All right, Duke, let's have you do something else over here. We chose something in politics that he is now blasting through day in, day out. Okay, so he's finished it. It's ready to publish. We're gonna have you write something about the sciences now, something about NASA. We're sending this thing over to print again. Okay, let's drag our one issue over. There we go. The most boring paper of all time. Boom. Done. No sale. That's okay. We've got our next one. It's all about NASA. Our daily newsletters we're sending out as if they're newspapers. There we go. Someone bought our paper again. Good job. The mayor is happy about your article. It was written exactly as we wanted. You mean the one about Africa? So, would you like to cooperate? Together we can change the world. Yeah, for money? Of course. Now you need to build some place to rest. Your employees need to rest in order to work efficiently. Level up faster. Write better etc. Build a reading room by selecting it in the building window. I'll be back in a week to check in on it, okay? Uh, who are you? Okay, I'll build it right now. So if we click on this icon here to the real estate center, they want us to build a reading room, so we're just gonna click on that right there. We have two rooms. They want us to put it in the one that's green, I'm gonna assume. Ta-da! And now instead of a dilapidated little interrogation room, we have the most uncomfortable looking space to read in. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade to a better office. We're gonna upgrade to a middle class office. The only real difference is the second desk, but sure, We'll go ahead and put it right there. Now we have a space for a second person so that Duke won't be singleton forever. Oh man, there's so many good names here. Let's go with Elaine Hook. Wow, she is like the epitome of, yeah, look at me, I'm totally working. Can't you see all the typing I'm doing on the wood surface of my desk? Also, I want to point out something. If you pause the game, everyone outside stops moving, but everyone inside keeps on working. Do they know something we don't know? See, check it out. Elaine is enjoying the reading room by sitting stock still, shivering in place, feet not touching the ground, 
around. Definitely not reading a book. Possibly not alive. Oh my god, the unthinkable has happened. We have two articles now that can go on one piece of paper. Here we go. There's the layout you pay for. You want the one where you don't even fill out the whole paper, nor does it look particularly nice or readable. Hopefully we sell a couple copies of that. I just realized we can also set him to, I think, auto-write this stuff, so we're just gonna tell him to write. Oh, we can select all of these? Yeah, just here. So I don't really know what the auto-search does. Let's just try celebrities and article. There we go. Yeah, she writes all on her own. Perfect. So all we have to do is sit back and watch the magic happen. Let's do a little experiment here. It's nice to sell one to three papers a day, but if we make this like two dollars. Okay, go ahead and put our patented one article on there. This one's about men taking stuff to raise their sexual attractiveness. Looks like three people bought it that time. We're just gonna keep doing this and seeing what happens here. Okay, okay. Looks like we're getting some readers now. Okay, now that we're seeing such rousing success, I think it's time we expand the offices again. We're gonna move on over to the old warehouse, which gives us four rooms. Look at that, huh? Now we're gonna drop a middle class office up here, and we're gonna hire two more eligible awesome people. I like how it's called labor exchange. Let's switch to a once a week paper. I think that's what that means. And let's see what happens when we build up like a healthy paper. Okay, check it out. Now look at our paper. We got all these articles in here. Let's see if that does better for the paper. Yeah, there we go. Daily money. I like it. Making a weekly paper. That's where it's at. Now well, seems to be doing okay. We're gonna have to pay rent soon though. And I'm kind of worried we're not gonna make the goal. Just to head it off at the pass, we're gonna take out a loan. How much of a loan can we... Whoa, I can take out a $1 million loan? Uh, yes. Obviously I want that. All right, now I've got a million dollars to play with. That feels a lot better. I think that means we're entitled to go to the $40,000 a month building. There we go. That's looking a lot better. We're also going to put in this investigations division, whatever the hell that is. Oh, look, it comes with six clones, all wearing sunglasses, all pretending to type, even though they don't have computers. Okay, and now let's go hiring crazy at the labor exchange. Man, this is getting great. Look at this. 36 total articles. Perfection. I also like this little detail right here that there's just open doorways, you know, from the third floor. Oh my god, look, we made it to two stars. I don't know how, and I don't really understand how any of this really works, but it's something. 68 articles, good. I'm not sure who wants to read that. Okay, so I figured out a fantastic bug. Check this out. If we make our paper as cheap as humanly possible, in this case, $1.13, and then we go ahead and add all of our articles, in this case, all 86 of them, and then we immediately go over here and we just ramp it up to 10 bucks. Look at it go. All right, we just became a cash positive paper. I think it still thinks it's a $1 paper, except people are buying it like it's not, at least for those first two days. We're also going to switch it so that everybody is only doing yellow press moving forward. We're going to make this just a full-fledged BS newspaper. It's a shame this game isn't all that much to look at. Pretty much all you do is watch these people work themselves to death. I, of course, use the term working very loosely in this case. Well, I can safely say I don't fear the bank anymore. I love that at any given time we have, like, over 100 articles in progress. Like, what kind of sweatshop is happening here? Okay, you know, I think we can upgrade to the bigger office. I think we've earned it. So we're going to go for the modern business center. There we go. Let's go ahead and add a research center. Put that on the top floor. Oh, let's put a printing house right in here. Put that right next door. And what the hell? Let's put a lounge in. A cozy room everyone dreams about after a tough work day. No, they dream about going home. They dream that they have homes to go to, unlike these people. So I guess for these people, yeah, you're right. What do you suppose this little icon means? Oh, research. Basic analytics. Allows your researchers to understand the basic principles of analytics. Thank you. But look at all these other research opportunities it opens up. I'd read them, but this font is horrible to read. So we'll just assume it's a good thing. Okay, that should be done shortly. And there we go. Basic discount for rent. A contract with the leaseholder reduces the monthly rental fee by 5%. How does that even work? But let's research it. This issue, we're putting out an impressive 85 articles. As you can tell, the public approves. Gotta make sure to stay on top of our researching. Like this other agreement with the leaseholder that reduces the monthly rental by 10%. How can that be real, huh? So you mean to tell me that this room right here is where we print our newspaper to 34,000 readers? Like on these like Xerox copiers? Now we can reduce it by 15%? Of course I'm gonna keep researching this. Am I led to believe that by the end of this, we're gonna have a contract that just gets us out of rent entirely? Is that the power of these two researchers in here? Oh, bummer. <laughs> There's no more research beyond that for rent. Increases the number of new readers by 2%. Oh God, yes. Anything to make this revenue stream even better. I think we've earned the next building up. What do you think? Oh, thank goodness. Now that we have fancy glass offices, at least you can't jump out the side of the building anymore. With all the UI elements, we actually can't see the whole office. With more people, we're thriving. 150 articles an issue. And with over 100,000 fans, people seem to enjoy it just fine. I like my idea that what's a good metric for a good paper is that it's cheap and it has as many articles in it as possible. Imagine if you got a weekly magazine 
magazine, and it had like 200 articles in it. There's just no possible way to read all of this in a week. I love that the game has this ability to show you inside the building or cover it up, because with this glass building, turning it on just looks like this. So basically, it's like your god commanding this newspaper drunk. Well, we've managed to reach over 250,000 readers, so we should probably celebrate with a newer office. So it's time to go to the ultimate, which used to be like 750,000 a month. Now it's inexplicably lower because of our contracts. Boom. There it is in all its glory. Cha-ching. I love how at any given time, in progress, we have like 800 plus articles being made. There's only 37 people working here. That means each person is simultaneously writing 21 articles. But how else are you going to get 270 articles weekly in your newspaper in your daily revenue of $1.2 million? I feel like we've done some good work here. We have 500,000 readers. And at this point, our company has $102,115,768. I think there's really only one thing left to do, which is I look up here and I see all these articles we have in progress. I see how many we have to publish. And all I can think is we owe it to ourselves to put out a mega issue. So let's turn off this release date and let's just let our people write to their heart's content and we'll know when it's right to put out an issue. All right, what do we think? Do we think that's enough articles? All right, let's put them back on the schedule here. I will be genuinely surprised if the game doesn't crash trying to do this. Ooh, all right, game's freezing. What's gonna happen? Oh, there it goes. It crashed. Too many heap sections. I'm not going to claim to know what that means. I think that's going to cap our journey. I'm impressed with what we accomplished. We went from nothing to one of the biggest publications in the world, employing over 50 people, all there to write and publish made-up news. So that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh, and I will see you next time.